Hi guys, welcome back and thanks for joining me. I decided that I wanted to clear out my china cabinet and get rid of all the stuff that had accumulated over the holidays that did not belong there. So I start by cleaning of course and then I decided to use this new runner that I had gotten at a recent garage sale and I liked the colors in it. So I had a couple of different options in which dishes that I wanted to use and I decided to go with the pink floral. Um, I just really like those best. So you may notice the white, it looks like gum in the back of the china cabinet. It, it is gum, it's earthquake gum and it holds my dishes in place just in case there's an earthquake. <laughs> I do live in Washington state so it's a real possibility. So I kind of get my dishes into place and then I really don't have a game plan. I mean, I know generally how I like my china cabinet to look, but I don't have a specific way of putting things. So I kind of just see where I like it and I'm always looking for that balance. So I just kind of move the bigger things towards the edges and the sides and then I just kind of start building. I have my color scheme and I can vary off of the color scheme up to three different colors. That's just my personal rule. So you guys have seen this before in my shabby chic breakfast video and it's the cream and sugar and it goes to my tea set and I really like it I like the color so that's kind of why I went with it so I like that country look so you'll see me stacking dishes a lot not only is it a country style but it also gives me the opportunity to use all of the dishes that I have that go to that set so I'm sure you guys can tell that I don't have like a specific way that I'm putting it. I'm just kind of moving things around, adding as I go, adding doilies, adding, um, like, like I said, putting the heavier objects on the outer corners and making sure both sides are balanced with the bigger items. I don't know why, but I do like things to look full and I, I don't really care for the minimalist look. I just, I like to have the warm, cozy feeling of everything. If it's, if it's missing something, it just looks empty to me. So I just start adding until it has the right uh, feel to it, I guess. So I add a bigger size doily up above on the next shelf and start adding my dishes that I wanna add there. And just like I did in my corner hutch video, I like to use the dinner plate, the salad plate, and the tea plate and stack them uh, in front of each other. And it gives it more weight and depth to it. And it's, you know, that country thing, the stacking. So I get all of my stuff up there. And of course I have the coffee and the tea. So I have to add those, and as you see, I add them on the outer corners. The teacups that go with them, I stack those as well, and I stack them as if they're ready to be used. This is just a personal thing. Um, I've seen other people stack them plate on plate, cup on cup, but I just prefer it that way. Also, I think probably because I have doors and when the doors on my china hutch are closed, you can't really see the cups. So I wanted to add this napkin, this pink napkin in here just for a little splash of pink because the lower plates are pink. So it's kind of bringing that pink up a little bit, I guess, and the the upper plates do have pink roses on it so that way it's just kind of I don't know bringing that stronger pink up and tying everything together at least in my mind it does <laughs> so these are the new floral um, vases I guess that I just got yesterday and I wanted to add those just for the pink color 
and I sat, decided that I wanted to use this little bird cage, but I wanted to add something different in it besides, you know, the standard bird that you would see. So I add a teapot and then I put a bird's nest right on top of, of that and a couple of fake eggs. And then I just add a little bit of greenery. I had put a little bit of greenery underneath the teapot as well. And uh, that's it. I had decided that I wanted to use the bird cage instead of the plant that I had on the left corner. Um, I don't know, I guess it just kind of went with it better. To me, I, I thought that it needed something a little different. I liked the green, but uh, this is uh, Temptations Chicken and a pie plate that I just thought that they, the colors went and everything matched. So I wanted to add a couple more teacups up above. It just looked like it needed it. So I wanted to use these cups that come from a different set. These were my great grandmother's and they do have pink roses on them, but they're not the same. So I like that everything doesn't match perfectly. I like the eclectic look. As long as I stick to uh, my two or three colors, the range of colors, then I feel like everything just goes. And it does give it more of a country feel. So I hope you guys liked this video. I had fun making it. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. That lets me know that you did like it. It's evening here now, so it's time for me to start dinner now that I've gotten everything in place so i hope you guys have a great night and i will talk to you later bye bye